Alright, so welcome to another tutorial. Today I will teach you this viral trace and blob effect that's currently trending on a lot of edits. So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how you can do this in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Alright, so once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you have your clip ready. You need to grab an adjustment clip from the effects on the top left here. You grab your adjustment clip, put it over the top of your clip. With your arrow key, move forward one frame and then shorten it until it's one frame long. Now once you have done that, you right click the adjustment clip, open the fusion page. Once you're in the fusion page, you click here to add a background and then you click right here to add a rectangle. Once you have your rectangle, you go over to background and you change the color to white. Then go back onto the rectangle, check this box to make it a border, not a solid. Now this is where you can sort of start getting creative because once you add your rectangle, usually what I'd like to do is make the border width quite high as that will make it the focal point of whatever you're trying to mainly focus on. So right now I'm going to mainly focus on the eyes. So once you have your first rectangle, what you can do is you can control C and then control V to place another one. And then you just do a bunch of moving around in certain areas, resizing the box. Now with this effect, there can be different variants. People usually use straight lines and other sort of shapes. So to do that, you click on this polygon tool to add it. Oh, sorry. You click on the rectangle, then you click on the polygon tool. And then what you can do is zoom in and make a point from this rectangle to this other one. And just sort of like experiment with whatever you think will look good. So I've gone for something like this and then like sort of connect it and then raise the, the border width and then this is what it will sort of turn out like. Now what you can also do is add these B spline. These are like curved points so you can put a point here, here and then here. And then you can see it will create this curved line. It will create this curved line right here. Grab these points and you can sort of move it around anywhere you want. Now for the text part you need to click the merge one node and then add the text like that. This effect people usually like to put random numbers so that I'm just going to do it right now. Something like this. And I usually like the font Arial. That's a good font to use for this. Make the size very small. Also I'd like to lower the opacity to around 0.6 maybe. And then I'd just place them around in multiple areas. And if you want to add more text you press Ctrl C on the text node and Control V whilst clicking the Verge 2 node and then that will add another text box. Now you can just change the numbers to whatever you feel like. Now once you have your first scene ready or your first frame of the clip because you're going to need to change it. So you get your adjustment clip again and you basically do the same thing as you did as the other one but obviously change the focal points to something else, add a bunch of different other shapes. So there you have it guys, this is the trace and blob effect, it's a pretty simple effect and the main thing to take away from this is just to experiment with whatever you like and whatever you think fits best. Alright, peace.